The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? ClickWood here, back again with another Madden Mobile video. Guys, today we're going to be opening a bunch of packs, trying to get the new Ultimate Ledges that were dropped into the game today. We have a new Brian Dawkins, which is a really, really nice card. And we also have a Will Shields offensive line. Eh, to me, not super important in Madden Mobile, but, you know, it's still a nice card anyway. So, uh, what we're going to do, guys, like I said, is open up a bunch of packs. Let's go in real quickly and just take a look and see what these things are currently going for. Um, I searched earlier today for this. There we go. So, it's already in, in my saved searches. So, this Brian Dawkins right now, uh, cheapest one right now. Let's see here. 5.9 million, it looks like, maybe. No, 5.6 uh, million is the cheapest one for the 98 overall Dawkins. Now, the 99 overall Dawkins looks like it's going for like 30 million right now at the cheapest. Like, I mean, obviously, that's going to drop quite a bit over the next week. But for today, well, it's, you know, still kind of a hot topic, still kind of a, a brand new card to the game. These things are always super ridiculously priced. Like, the 99 Chris Johnson right now, I don't think there's any up right now for anything less than, like, the maximum amount you can put stuff up for, which is, I think, 99 million coins or something like that. So, you know, it, it just is what it is as far as that goes. But let's take a look at the Will Shields here as well. Um, I'm interested to see what he is going for. Uh, 3 million right now for the 97. Okay, 3.2 million there. See what the 98 is. Oh my gosh, 28 million for an offensive lineman. Like anybody that's spending 28 million on an offensive lineman in Madden Mobile, I don't know what you're doing with your life. But I mean, that's kind of what it costs right now. You do get plus two pass blocking with that 98. So I mean, that's a pretty important attribute, of course. Definitely the most important as far as like um, just the pure pass blocking attributes or, or run blocking even. I think it's like the most important overall offensive lineman attribute. The pass blocking is. My personal opinion in Madden Mobile, um, but again, guys, we do have uh, we do have that Dawkins as well. So I, I personally would rather pull the Dawkins. I, I mean, I don't know. It, it just it looks like a better card for my team. But let's go in here, guys. Let's take a look at the unclaimed items I have right now. I've already purchased, I believe. 40 of the ultimate legend packs i also have a whole bunch of these ultimate legend player packs that i'm gonna hold on to for right now uh but if you guys want to see me open these up and, and i can make some more obviously with the packs that i'm going to be opening today but if you guys want to see me open up any of those let me know in the comment section below i'd be glad to do it um i've, I've thought about maybe holding on to them for a, possibly a better weekend as far as ultimate legends go i think these are good but i don't think they're the best ones that we're going to get all year so uh, i think i have 40 of the ultimate legend packs saved up so with that said, let's start ripping these things open to see if we can get any good stuff out of them, guys. And I click, of course, open later right away because I'm a noob. All right, here we go. Reveal all. Let's start off strong. And it's just weak as hell. All right, so you get a Jack Youngblood there. So, again, guys, if you're new to these packs, these are going for 50,000 coins each. You can purchase some unlimited amount on the auction house. Or not the auction house. The store right now. Um, and basically what you guarantee out of it is four gold players, just base gold players. And then you're also going to get yourself an ultimate legend player of some sort. Or, I guess, yeah, I guess it's, it's going to be like a gold or better player. Uh, and then you also get one of the ultimate legend badges. So, Pretty simple. Um, they're not the best packs in the game, but they're definitely a good opportunity to pull some of the Ultimate Legend items, so that's why I like them. So, right here we do get a Sean Smith. It's an 85 overall. Really not the best cornerback that we could have right now, but he is, <laughs> hilariously enough, he is probably an upgrade from the guys that I have right now. But we're going to keep that how it is. All right, let's continue on here. Maybe we'll get some good stuff today, boys. Maybe. There, there might be a possibility. We do get a Sean Lee here. What is that thing? Fan favorite card. That's an old card in the game, but hey, we'll, we'll still take it. We do get a Ray Nitschke there as well. So we're starting to get some of the ones that have like the little uh, plus one or plus two to the attributes and things like that. So that's always nice. We end up getting two here. We get a boost max strong and a regular rookie max strong. Um, now those don't really have a whole lot of value because he's a fullback. But still to pull two of them in a pack is kind of interesting. Usually you don't do that either. So let's continue on here boys. I messed up my screen here in front of me. Sorry about that. Alright. Let's reveal all. And nothing out of this one. We're really hoping to get basically any of the elite ultimate legend players are worth a pretty good amount. I shouldn't say any. Most of the elite ultimate legend players are worth a decent amount. Do you get a Sterling Sharp here that adds plus one to catching for the whole team? So that's always a nice one as well. Corey Lindsley there, a center. Not much out of that pack. 
pretty much most of these packs are going to be garbage. If we get anything, it's going to have to be like one of the ultimate legend players, pretty much. We get a McNair there. Um, but yeah, I mean, you pretty much need to have one of the ultimate legend players for it to be a really good pack in this, uh, as far as I understand it. Anthony Barr there, he's a good player, but it's a gold card, so really not much value, unfortunately. Continuing on. Come on, boys. Just got to get one. We get a Connor Barwin combine card here. This is, what, an 84 overall defensive end. 85 speed. That's pretty good out of a gold card for a defensive end. But, you know, still not much out of this pack so far. Still got plenty of them to open up, though. Like I said, we have 40 total. So we've probably opened up like 8 or 9 or something like that at this point. I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time on the packs, though, because... You know, like I said, most of them aren't going to really have a whole lot of value. And we get a Jarrell Worthy Combine Hero card. 93 overall here, guys. Uh, 80 speed, 90 strength. Okay, not bad. 86 power move. Eh, I mean, it's it's a decent card. I don't know what this thing is going for. The Combine uh, the combine Hero cards are are decent, though. They're certainly not bad. And we do get a Will Shields here as well. The, 90, or the 84 overall, uh, plus one to pass blocking. So that's actually not a bad card. I could maybe use this Jarrell Worthy. I don't know. I'll have to see what it's going for and see kind of, um, you know, how it fits into my team and things like that right now. But uh, definitely our best pull so far, that 93 overall Jarrell Worthy. Not bad at all, my friends. If I got a pack like that every time, I'd be pretty happy. So let's continue on here. I don't think we're going to get any any more greatness like, uh, you know, like a whole lot of packs like that at least. But we really just need to get the one amazing pull and then we'll be good to go. So we get another Will Shields there. And of course, guys, you can build the Will Shields uh, by getting a bunch of the Ultimate Legend um, players and things like that. So, you know, that's always a possibility as well. So, come on, let's go. Come on. Nothing. Nothing out of these, damn it. Nothing. Anthony Munoz. <sighs> come on. Leotis McKelvin. Now, I used to always call him Le Leo Leotis McLovin from Superbad, but not that I didn't know how to pronounce his name, but just made me, made me think of McLovin for some reason whenever I saw his name. Come on. Damn it, man. These packs are freaking ass cheeks so far. Come on. Really just got to get one beast ass pull and then we'll be good. So we get the night, the 89 Will Shields. That is a really nice pull. That is definitely one that is going to be helpful for us. The skill version of Will Shields. Uh, Ultimate Legend skill edition. So yeah, nice. 92 strength, 88 pass block. This is definitely like probably one of the better offensive linemen that I would have. But we've pretty much got to sell him or put him into the set. So, so far we've gotten, I think, three of the Will Shields pieces, uh, possibly four of them, but we just got to get a couple more and then we'll be able to build the Will Shield, so that would actually not be bad if we were able to do that. I would be perfectly okay with that. Get another Will Shields there, another rookie version. So we have like the, um, what was it, the skill version, I think, of him? I don't know, but got a, a few different versions of Will Shields and we continue to pull more and more of them here. Now, for the, the Ultimate Legend, the gold players, if you're not going to be putting them in sets, like, I found that to me, and you guys will have to let me know what you guys think, but I found that I have the best luck selling them and getting the best profit for them uh, when I actually go ahead and sell them pretty much right away uh, the weekend that I pull them. And, and right here, guys, we do get an 89 overall Sterling Sharp, so that's another Elite Legend or Ultimate Legend player. 89 speed here, 90 Excel. Not really anything amazing on this card, but it's definitely a wor like definitely a good pull. And like I like I said before, any of the elite ultimate legend players, even if it's not the the uh, limited edition card, they're still really really good, and they're still they still are going to have some value. So I'm happy to pull those for sure. Let's continue to rip here. We get a Charles Haley there. I've got like a ton of the gold legends because I was just lazy. But like if you have the ones for the card that just came out, and we get a Brian Stork there, 93 overall center. Nine, man, we've pulled two 93 overall combine hero or uh, campus hero, excuse me, uh, offensive linemen already. So we might be able to rebuild our whole offensive line. We'll have like a Will Shields. We'll have a Brian Stork. Who is the other one? I'm trying to remember who it was. Uh, I don't remember, but we definitely pulled another 93 overall offensive lineman as well. So yeah, I mean, we're getting good pulls out of these packs. This isn't bad at all, to be honest with you. Still got quite a few more to go. Now, granted, most of the packs that we've pulled have been terrible, but like I said, it only takes a couple to make it really worthwhile. Right here, we end up getting two ultimate or two uh, elite players. We get a Des Bryant here, 85 overall, really not worth that much at this point in the game. And then we get that Jesse James, which I say I, I pull this like multiple times almost in every pack opening. I don't know what the deal is, but like this card has to be the most easy to pull 
elite player in the game. I don't know. It's it's very weird, but yeah, I mean, it seems like everybody, when I watch other people's pack openings too, everybody is pulling that freaking Jesse James card. It's, it's not bad. It's just like, it's just weird that they made it like the, the easiest card to pull in the game for some reason. So, all right, boys, we still got quite a few more packs to go here. Get another Will Shields here. Still not pulling like a whole lot of fire, but we've got 13 more packs to go. So we've still got plenty to go. About a third of the packs remaining here. Come on, baby. Give me that 99 or the 98 version of uh, uh, Brian Dawkins would be freaking amazing. I'd be super, super happy with the 99 Dawkins. I'll tell you that. Jack Youngblood there. Do get the Eric Reed here as well. 87 speed. It's an 84 card, but any of those com uh, combine cards are actually pretty decent right now as well. Come on. We just got to get one more. We just got to get like one of the 99 or I guess in Will Shield's case, 98 cards. It would be definitely great. So we get a Clay Matthews here. Not bad. Not bad. 85 overall linebacker card. But not really anything great. It's not going to make up for the price of the card or anything. Come on, boys. Damn it. Still got, like, what? Eight more packs or so to go. Come on. And we get a Chris Hogan. This is another super common card to pull right now for some reason. 88 overall Chris Hogan. I actually use that card on my team from time to time. So, uh, yeah, it's not bad, though. Let's see here. How many more we got? We got eight more total to go. And then, like I said, I have a whole bunch of these Ultimate Legend player packs. Let me know if you guys think I should open them this weekend or should I wait till next weekend. I, I know that they're not. They're probably mostly going to be gold, if not all of them golds. But there's at least that possibility that they're going to be something decent. Get that Chris Hogan again. Back-to-back -back packs with the Chris Hogan. Like I said, super, super common to pull for some reason. That Chris Hogan card and then also the Jesse James. Extremely common to pull right now. And they have been since they were introduced into the game. I, I don't know. It must be because they're like the final football outsiders. So they're going to be in packs for like the rest of the year almost, it seems like. Or at least they have been ever since week 17. So we got five more packs to go, guys. <sighs> Haven't gotten any of the super ridiculous cards yet, but we've gotten a few of the elite Ultimate Legend players. So I'm happy with that. Got a couple elite Campus Hero 93 overalls. So I'm happy about those as well. But uh, it's been a little dry here towards the end. Three more packs to go. We just got to get that one big pull, boys. Just that one big pull. And three Chris Hogan. What are you doing, EA? It's been like the final, like, what, eight packs that I've opened three Chris Hogan 88s overall. Weird. Very, very weird. Two more packs, and then we'll be wrapping up the video, guys. If you guys are enjoying these pack opening videos, make sure that you drop a like on it. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. And let's see here. Final pack, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go slow through this one. One individual card at a time. And we get the Anthony Munoz. Going slow is the right move. 87 overall Munoz there. And that is a decent pull to wrap up the pack opening video. So we do end up getting three of the Elite Ultimate Legend players. I think we got two of the Campus Hero players. Uh, a couple Combine cards. Nothing Elite or anything. But not bad overall. We didn't get anything super amazing today. But we got some good pulls. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. Thanks again so much for all the support, guys. And I will talk to you guys again soon.